What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another show of Iceman Cryptos. I'm your host, Lou. We have a lot to go over between Bitcoin action, Pepe action, and what else is going on in the market. All right, so first thing is first, we're looking at the Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin hit an all new high that was yesterday around almost 32,000. They were at 32,000 and they just took a drop down to 30,000. Not too concerned, probably just people just taking some profits. Usually that's what happens when there's a massive surge. A lot of it was due to the news with XRP because they just won in court that they are not considered a security, which was a big win for crypto. So with, with XRP not being classified as a security, you're probably gonna see more people starting to allocate their money into the crypto market. All right, so we're looking at the one hour chart for Bitcoin. And as you see, there's a squeeze that's forming right over here. Usually at this point, there'll be a direction it will move in. It will either move upward or downward. You're probably gonna see a momentum moving upward from here. Bitcoin has been looking more and more bullish. I mean, if you look at some of the charts, so the balance of Bitcoin on all exchanges is 11.5%. 70% of it is being held off of exchanges. So 70% of Bitcoin has not moved in a year. The way I like to think of it is just supply and demand. There is less supply out there because more people are just holding on to the Bitcoin. When there's less of something out there, the more valuable it becomes because there's more of a demand of it. If there's something, if there's more of it out there, then the value of it's going to go down. And since a lot more people are holding on to Bitcoin, especially since all these Bitcoin spot ETFs have been filed, you're going to see a lot more people grabbing onto as much Bitcoin as possible. Um, I don't have a crystal ball in front of me, so I don't know if it's going to go up or down, but, but usually with the less availability of the Bitcoin itself and the fact that we have the Bitcoin having approaching next year, which is less than 12 months away, you're going to see less Bitcoin out there. I'm really curious to see what happens with this squeeze, if it's going to go upward. I happen to think it is, but that's not financial advice. Also, I want to note that Bitcoin has been up 80% this year. So that's an all time high for 2023. Now, Pepe went on a little bull run and that was due to the announcement with XRP, how it wasn't classified as a security. Basically, the whole crypto market jumped up because of that news. So that was a that was a big win for crypto. So Pepe sitting at 0 0.50s and 16.5. They have some nice momentum going. This is the one hour chart and I'll switch over to the 30 minute chart to see what's doing over there. And we have a little sideways action. I like to see that usually with a sideways action, you're gonna see at some point when these Bollinger Bands, when they start to really get tiny over here and it looks like it's about to squeeze, usually it will squeeze in one direction with the momentum of the crypto market where it's been going lately every time there's a news announcement it's been shooting upward um, crypto is doing very well this year so far but pepe is also a new coin let's check out the charts so this is what i look at with these new coins the holder is 132,000 um, on the eth network that's up 0.272 percent today all right so we're on coin market cap right now uh, coin market cap. So as you see right over here, Bitcoin, it has a $588 billion market cap and it's number one. There's no other coin that's bigger than Bitcoin. If you look at Pepe, it's ranking number 65. The market cap for Pepe is $652 million. Now that's not the highest it's been. It was over 1 billion at one point, and that's where we're watching right now. It went on a massive bull run when it first came out within like 27 days, and then it dropped back down. And we've been monitoring it ever since, waiting for it to get back up to that 1 billion market cap. I think it can, and that's what we are hoping for, for those that are Pepe holders and Pepe believers. Now, if you look at the trending coins, so the number one trending coin right now is XRP. Of course, that would be because of the news that broke out about XRP not being labeled as security. But the number two trending coin right now, you gotta look at this, is Pepe coin. In 30 days, it's gone up 85%, seven days, 9%, and 24 hours, it's gone up 4%. 
So another thing to look at too is the volume and this is how much of the coins been traded within the last 24 hours. You have $130 million that's been traded in Pepe in the last 24 hours. This has been another episode of Iceman Cryptos. Remember, I'm your host, Lou. I'll be keeping you up to date on all crypto news. See you guys next time.